Hello, this is a demonstration of all of my uh, experiments with simulation um, in Desmos. At first, I started with uh, just simply two kind of planets uh, orbiting each other. For the way I do the simulation, I simply add, uh, I sort of have a vector for each of their positions and velocities. I add a portion of their velocity to the position and a portion of acceleration forces to the velocity. Um, and I do that many times per second. And I quickly discovered that they have some interesting properties. So the average position in this case uh, is represented by that yellow dot, stays the same. But if I uh, nudge the velocity, um, you can see that it, it follows a straight line. And the average velocity as well stays constant. And the average position uh, perfectly follows that. Um, even I can draw a line here and you can see that average position just perfectly follows it. Um, and so I think this is a pretty accurate way of doing some physics simulations. Uh, for the next, using this method, I, uh, I created a little game. Um, it's based on Asteroids, uh, the arcade game. And um, you can fly to the other side uh, and avoid them. You can't shoot, so it's not quite like the game. And uh, if you collide into an asteroid, you get a game over and you can restart. Um, this is pretty much using uh, everything I did before, but just uh, introducing some collision detection. Next, I started generalizing all the math that I used. Here I have many, many uh, planets um, and I can use it to uh, very easily, uh, this one allows me to constantly produce more planets. Um, here I can add more. Um, and as I add more, I can uh, get some really chaotic things. And it runs fairly smoothly, given how many points there are. Next, I want to do experiment to see if I could get actual collisions. So here I have some billiard balls. Uh, and I can throw around their velocities and watch them collide. Uh, after collisions of two balls, I experimented with collisions of a billiard ball in a ellipse. Um, a billiard ball bouncing an ellipse has some very interesting properties. Um, when it's inside these two uh, purple dots, the foci, uh, it'll stay bouncing inside. However, if I can grab it, here I'll pause it first. If I can grab it and get it outside, it'll always bounce outside of them. And if the simulation was perfect, bouncing it directly on will always have it go through the foci. But it's not completely perfect, so there's a little inaccuracy. Then, using what I learned there, I experimented with uh, this. It's a generalized, um, it allows me to create a ball that can bounce on any function. Um, here I can change the cosine part of it, change that. Uh, I can remove the uh, x squared component of it and get this shape. Um, I was actually inspired by a similar thing I saw on Reddit. Uh, finally, um, I uh, was uh, experimenting to see if I could remove the inaccuracies from the simulation. Um, and I was able to generalize uh, an equation that uh, works for uh, the proper thing. So I, now I can just input a time t and output the thing. I'm currently working on trying to figure out the same things for something like this. I think it might be a bit above my level, though. Well, hopefully not. Um, and Using that, I was able to add it into this simulation and um, 
create uh, an accurate path of where it's going to go. Yeah. Thank you for watching.